Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. This is Kumar. You are watching COBOL Tutorial 9. In my last video, I gave you the in important information about the file and its important usage in the mainframe world. So we are now, we know that a file contained, file is a collection of records and fields. So based on the usage of files, so files are categorized into three types, sequential file, uh, index file and relative files. So in this video, below are the topics which I would like to share with you all. The first one will be the sequential file, what is exactly the index file, relative file, the sample COBOL program to code sequential index relative files. And how do we entering the records in a sequential index relative files? How do you retrieve the record from sequential file? How to retrieve record from index and relative files? And how do we modify the records? How to delete the records from sequential file? And in the same way, how to delete the records from index and relative files? So let's go ahead and start with the sequential files. As we all know that sequential files, sequential files is entering the records sequentially. It consists of records where records are entered in physical sequential order. As records are inserted in physical sequential order, records can be accessed sequentially. Sequential file allows duplicate records and no direct access. So it means you can write a duplicate records in a sequential file. Example, in my first record is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and second record is 6, 7, 8, 9. In the same way, I can enter one more record with the same duplicate. So, sequential files are used to transfer data from one program to another program, one system to other system. It's so simple, right? So, next one is indexed file. It also consists of records where records are entered on indexed sequential order. That is, for every record insertion, index is created with the help of record key. With the help of every record has it now is associated with the record key which is the index file record key is uniquely identified row does not contain null values duplicate rows see in above in a sequential file there is a chance of writing a duplicate records for an index there will be no duplicate records because of and it also doesn't have any null values record key is always part of record this is very important note Record key can contain single or multiple fields. So, that was about the indexed file and coming to the relative file. It also consists of records where records are entered based on relative record number. That is, for every record number, relative number is created based on address of record that is RBA. Whereas in indexed file, we have an index, whereas in relative file, based on the address, relative of address, uh, we are going to retrieve the record. The one of the best fit advantages as relative record number generated never relative number of files access sequentially, randomly and dynamically. We can access in three of these ways either sequentially, randomly or dynamically. Unused storage space created when record is deleted from relative files. This is if there is any unused storage space so, relative files will clear the space. Now, let's see how to COBOL program code to sequential index and relative files. So, we all know that there is environment division uh, working to a section and after the editing. In the FD, in the input output section, so you need to code this. S what I'm doing is just I'm uh, having a claim file assigned to disk where the organization if you are using a sequential file you need to use organization sequential if it is an index you need to use index if it is a relative then you need to use a relative so and also the same thing access mode how you are going to access it either sequentially indexed or relative so, or relative mode this that is the reason this is the point you need to mention while declaring a file in the input output section in the same way if you are using uh, indexed or relative so 
the record key is claim number it is mainly used for indexed if you are using an index file relative key is ws run or something other variable so when you are using the relative it points to address it points to relative address it points to the key index so how uh, that that was about the basic uh, structure or organization uh, we code for a file I mean, how do you declare in the file declaration or the input output section for a both sequential index and relative files so entering your records in a sequential index relative files so as usual the procedure division open first you need to open output claim file move one to i perform until i greater than 10 this is for simple sequential file accept accept claim number claim statement claim type write claim records add one to one and perform close file this is for sim so this is for sequential file or a simple file what i'm doing is i'm trying to open the claim file i'm trying to i i wanted to un enter written records into the claim file so what i need to do i have to open the file in a output mode i have opened the uh, file in output mode pointing to the claim file claim file might be internally associated with the disk and disk in the jcl associated with the actual physical file so I, I i will use a simple perform here simple perform until i greater than 10 accept claim number accept claim straight and accept claim type then claim record add one to y and perform after after entering all the 10 records then i need to close the claim file so this is the single sequential file retrieving records from sequential file open input claim file so you need to open mode with the uh, input in order to retrieve the retrieve the records from sequential file you have to open it an input mode in order to write the records you need to open in output mode in order to read and write you need to open in input output mode or i mean if you want to modify input output mode so and now I'm trying to retrieve the record from a sequential file, so I use input mode. Read command. Read command is an input operation, and file has to be opened in input mode. Read command is coded with at end, not end clause. At end clause is to identify at uh, end of file. End of file will be executed when read command identifies no records or n plus one records if there are n records not at end class will be executed when read retrieved successfully so these two classes are very very important when you work with the files concept in your real time so this plays a very very key role in the files concept so let's read the file and uh, see uh, see uses of both at end and not at end class open input a claim file now move end to end of the file perform until end of the file equal to y read claim file at end move y to end of the file no no i said like at end can occur when it reaches the last record of the file so that's the reason initially i'm declaring move end to end of the file so i can perform until end of the file equal to y here here the situation is i don't know how many records are existed in the input file so this is the best key to know the end of the file so that's the reason I'm declaring end to the end of moving end to the end of the file and performing until end of the file why so reclaim file if it is a end end move why to end of the file not at end yes if claim status equal to 3 display claim record and if and read and perform close read so what I'm doing here is where when all the claim status equal to three, then I'm trying to display those records. Or else you can do many things. If your employee number equal to so and so number or display, I mean it depends on the your program and it, it depends on your process. I I just try to get simple example over here. So display claim record and if then and read then and form form don't forget to close the file so don't perfect the stop run so this was about how to read the file in the invert mode or retrieving the record from a sequential file 
so how to retrieve a record from indexed and relative files so as I said you need to pass a relative record number or a key number or a key so I'm moving move forward to the relative record key and move forward to the claim number read claim file invalid key if it is an invalid key then display not found not invalid key display found and read this is simple so you will you need to follow the same syntax over here but you are passing a key but uh, this key clause will be an extra read claim file invalid key display not found before read command key always must be supplied so if you are not supplying a key it goes into an error so how to change the records or how to how do we update the records so this is something and the last tips we have seen about how do we open a file and write a records into a file and how do we read a file and display those record or do a sort of processing or evaluating the input file so how do you change the records in a sequential file how do you modify a records in a sequential file I need to open with IO mode open IO claim file move and to end of the file perform until end of the file equal to Y reclaim file at and move Y to end file not at end if clean type equal to ABC move hatch number to claim type rewrite here rewrite is the important command when you are uh, when you are trying to modify an existing file and the open mode is always IO mode but we don't use it maximum but it is important to know in real time so rewrite claim record and if and perform and close claim file in the same way now we have done with how do we open the file how to read a file and how do we modify a file now how to delete a record from a sequential file can it be possible to delete a record from a sequential file let's see what happens here no direct delete can be applied but record can be applied in two techniques one rewriting with spaces against a record which is to be deleted so in order to delete the record you need to open in a highway mode so move end to end of the file perform until end of the file equal to y reclaim file add and move y to end of the file not attend if claim number equal to 2000 move spaces to claim record then rewrite claim record so here it says like I just I'm moving a passing a value spaces to the record it means that it means deleted so but logically or physically we cannot delete the records in a sequential file and uh, open input clean file retrieve record from input files and writing into output so this is the second method retrieving a record from input files and writing into output files except record which is to be deleted so, so open output claim file to open output input claim file one then move and to end of the file then you just skip whatever the records you don't want to write else move claim record to claim record to write claim record to so now you have successfully deleted the record by copying from one file to another file and just after copying it just rename the file just delete the existing file and rename the new file to the exist with the existing file don't forget to close the files so next deleting records from indexed and relative files how do we so you all know that you need to pass a, a key value so move forward to the WSRR number and move forward to claim delete claim file invalid key display not found not invalid display found so this is the way we delete it right in indexed we can delete it directly whereas in sequential you cannot delete so in sequence I mean the index you know as since you know the key value or the key record value you can directly delete it so now we will coming it come to the evaluation of the COBOL commands so there should be a certain kinds of error handling or validations done whenever you open a file or you know you you write a file into the uh, whenever you write a record into the file 
So how do you know that whether the file is existing or the open has been successfully done or the write has been successfully created? So in any program, in any language, there should be a certain validation done for any file processing since file handles a large volume of data and it's very important to handle the situations. So, so file status is a working storage section so with this can be done with the help of file status so which can track the record number which can which gives the written values whenever you whenever the file is opened or closed or certain doing an operations file status is a working storage section variable which will contain system defined numeric number wantable again i repeat file st status is working storage section variable which will contain system defined numeric number wantable File status variable must be specified with file status class under selection select class. File status variable contains value if it if the file status variable contains value 0, 0 indicates the file is success or exist. File status variable contains value 1 0 indicates end of the file of a sequential file. So either you can use at end class or you can use 1 0 that means indicates the end of the file for the sequential file. File status variable contains value 2, 3, row not found. It can indicate that row not found or a record not found for an indexed or relative files. And also the same for the sequential file. So we have set of uh, various written codes for the file status. So every input output operation must be evaluated by using if or evaluate statements. So this, we will see some examples for using the file status. So the claim file assigned to this organization is sequential file status C. I'm declaring a file status HWS FS F1. So you need to declare this in a working storage section uh, organization. This is when you are giving the file status, it gives some written codes, whatever the code we have, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, transfer success, 1, 0 indicates that end of the file and to the indicates record not found or row not found so data division working storage I'm declaring FS F1 so FS1 then open input claim file FWFS FS1 equal to 0 0 it can continue display error in open WS F1 See, uh, just here I'm trying to check if the file is existing or not, it is able to open or not. Yeah, now I'm displaying error. If it is success, then continue as display error in open FS, FSF1, stop run, and if reclaim file, the same way evaluate true, if WSF1 equal to 0, display success. When WSF1 equal to 1, 0, move Y to the end of the file. See, this is the way I'm... I here I'm not using at end but I'm using one zero as a reference to move to identify the end of the file when other display error in record WSFS F1 so it gives the what is the exact record number so we can, with this we can come to know that what is exactly happened so sometimes what happens is uh, it can't be an example but I can give I can give some example like when you go to ATM center and the left side or in the ATM there will be a certain set of written codes set of codes written on the on the wall side it says like uh, invalid transaction or uh, uh, ATM is server is busy uh, these kinds of uh, these kinds of error codes you can see over there so in the same way while you do a perform while you work with the file concept so it throws some error number so based on that error numbers, the programmer can identify what exactly the issue is and he can fix those issues. In the same way, the end users also can identify based on the written codes, they will read this particular chart and they will come to know that, oh, this could be the issue or this is happening. So stop run and evaluate. Now next one, write. When I'm trying to write, now I'm trying to write the claim file if WSFS1 equal to 0 yes continue else display error in write if it is 0 I can write the data I mean opening now I'm writing the records in the output file so I need to check whether the output output physical file is existing or not yes if it is yes then I will write it else 
throw and state so that was about all about the files concept and how to be used in real time and uh, the various operations like what is relative file what is sequential file what is indexed file and how do we open how do we write how do we rewrite how do we delete and how do we process the file handling the file status and everything we have seen now let's see example cobol program using files so it would be a complete cobol program here using that is this is uh, focusing on sequential file so you'll be giving in your identification division the program id the file basic author date written date compiled environment division input output section in this the file control select working stored assigned to answer trying to work with the employee table file status is wsm file switch so data division now this is my file the file now i have a record with uh, certain length 8 plus 15 40 50 60 yeah this is as certain record length record length of i input employee record which is having certain fields like first 8 bytes is employee id and second 15 bytes is employee name and i am trying to fill her with remaining is blank so in working storage section i will have a working storage temporary variable defined in order to handle the file status so i give values ws in file success equal to 0 0 and file end of the file equal to 1 0 so WS input record employee ID employee name filler and of the file switch so this is for uh, switching so procedure division 1000 main para perform 2000 open para 2000 exist 2000. so in this main para I'm having what I'm doing is I'm trying to open read the data insert the data and close the file open file and read input from the file insert the records into your file and then close a file so first it will go to the 2000 para and it will go search initialize wsn file search ws employee rec and ws initializing i'm initializing everything here so open output wsn file first i need to open the file and check the validation if wsn file success display file open successful else display file opening error then go to exit so it directly goes to the exit and it skips all this performs and everything and if 2000 exit every perform statement should have the start and exit so in the same way in my next step is when it says exit it goes to the here and the next next statement is the perform 2000 input para it goes to this accept wsi input id now it reads the data it reads the data from the input file uh, or it uh, it will uh, on the console area where they will be entering the employee id employee name now i'm taking only the two employee id and employee name so display employee id and employee name so i have accepted the input para and it goes like this next thing is now i need to write the records into the files so here it will go to the 4000 para so what i'm doing is copy go to 4000 para sorry no it should go to 4000 yes so that was a good stop no problem so it goes to the 4000 insert para write imp record from ws input track now we have stored the data into the working storage from working storage it goes to the actual physical file so when i when it says i i i imp record it goes to here this is pointed to in file and this is pointed to actual physical table so it writes the data in this way so this is th this is how the write pa happens after writing it now the next step would be next step would be the close para so it directly closed paras and it will close close the data i mean so close the files so 
how was it so this is the simple camper uh, cobalt program using the files concept I hope you all have enjoyed this video so just to recap what are the what are the things uh, I mean what are the few various things we have learned today in our in our class so just started with the what are the different files we use like sequential file index file relative files and the cobalt program to code sequential index relative files and entering records in a sequential index relative file how do you retrieve a record from sequential file and how to retrieve records from index and relative files and how to modify the records how to delete the record from sequential file and how to delete it in the same way with the record from index and relative files and the sample cobalt program using a sequential file so this is what about the fights in Cobol. Thank you for watching. Have a great and